I was born and raised in Houston. We were kind of on the rural outskirts, so it felt country a little bit too, you know, but um, it was a pretty hectic town. So luckily for me, the outdoors offered an escape to the type of life I had growing up in Houston. In college at UT in Austin, I had a really bad injury. And as a result, I, I felt like I needed to get into a, a more uh, sustainable pastime where I wasn't gonna hurt myself anymore. And I was watching fishing shows in particular, like Walker's K Cr Chronicles came on with Flip Pallet, and I was like glued to the television. They were using fly rods in saltwater. It didn't make any sense to me. So I, I looked up in the phone book and found the Austin Angler right down by the Capitol in downtown Austin. I'd managed to make it up the stairs with my crutches. I was really taken in by how kind the people in that store were. And I think that was a big reason that I committed to it, because I because I felt so welcome into this group. And that was really kind of the last thing I, I thought about what I wanted to do with my free time. Because any time I had a second, I was in the car going somewhere with the fly rod, opening the tube, putting the thing together. I was just, yeah, I was just crazy about it. Still am, still am. You know, Rockport's a, a rural town. A lot of working class people here, a lot of people in the fishing business. To me, it's a beautiful place because I understand the ecology here, but it's not a Carmel by the sea. I mean, it's not, a, it's not a Yucatan Peninsula. But to me, there is a beauty in sort of that abandonment, this, this ancient hard history that, that's here. The, the things I enjoy are very specific and I, I really enjoy like the finest equipment. I live my entire existence outside. For me, you know, you go out there, you use the finest pulling skiff made to, to pursue redfish with the finest fly rods and reels. And then after you're successful, you sit down, you get a cold drink out of the best cooler made and you turn on some, some, some rock and roll or some good old country music on a turtle box and sit back and float. It, it feels like the top of the mark. Good friends, family, good music, good food, um, just life lived to its fullest. That's the one thing I always try to keep myself in check is like, don't let this all become so commonplace that you forget to, to give your 100% every day. That has to be the top goal for every guy who gets out of bed in the morning is to offer the best possible experience they can to their clients. You know, I was very fortunate to, to somehow like just have this feeling about myself that I'd be okay no matter if my friends were worried about me. And I always trusted something in my gut that told me like, this isn't it, keep, keep looking, figure out what it is that you're put here to do. You know, whether that's guitar playing and writing songs, whether that's using a fly rod, you know, like accounting, whatever it is, like applying yourself to your fullest ability to be as good at something as you can possibly be. My, my wish for everyone is that, that they have the time and opportunity to explore what it is in life that they feel really called to do. Because it makes just living day to day that much more gratifying. So, I mean, this lifestyle has, has, has worked out for me. And so it's, it's really great. I'm still young enough, vital enough, strong enough to pull it off and um, looking forward to many years to come. <laughs>